We've searched everywhere. There's no sign of the children. Is she alive? Barely. Gotta keep her alive, Jason. Brian. She's gotta tell us where the kid... Where's the ambulance? I called them twice, Sonny. They're on their way. Kids are God. And Faith. Or her men. Have been digging a hole. Sonny, that shovel proves nothing. There's mud on her shoes. Oh, she's, she's still alive. How many times was she shot? Once. Don't give up, Sonny. We won't know what's happened until we can question Faith. We don't even know if she's gonna live, Reese. I spoke to the local police. They couldn't get the American shot. That's Faith. Sonny. Sonny, what happened? Where are the kids? Jason. I'm glad you're... They said that two people were shot. Yeah, it was two of Faith's guys. I wasn't hit. Jason, where are the kids? Where are they? If, if they're not with Faith, then she sent them somewhere. The well, children weren't at the church. But that doesn't mean we won't find them. Do you have any leads? I mean, maybe she took them somewhere. Maybe she relocated Faith them. passed to... out before she could tell us anything. And what? What are you telling me, Sonny? We found a shovel. Faith was digging something. It doesn't mean it's got anything to do with our kids. Sonny, she just got away with five million dollars. She's probably burying it. Or maybe, maybe her car got stuck and, and she was, um, she was trying to dig it out. Come on, Sonny. There are about a hundred million reasons why there could be mud on a shovel that have nothing to do with... Michael probably, maybe he got away again. I'm sure he did. He did it once before. And then, it... hey, we're not going to stop looking for those kids. Now, Faith's assistant, that guy Peavy, he said the kids were at the church. So we're going to use that as our starting point, And we're going to try and... Don't you say try. Movement. Don't say try. Don't you act like you're going to do everything that you can. And when it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter. There are three kids out there and you need to find them. Carter, they're doing everything they can. Every what do you available want? available agent is on the scene. Maybe Carly's right. Jason, maybe the shovel doesn't mean anything. Faith didn't know the kids were gone. They're here. She was trapped. They couldn't have gotten far. We're going to keep looking. That's all we can do. So they said Faith was trying to get in one of the back rooms of the church. Okay, well, do you think she was going to check on the kids? Yeah, but Faith didn't know the kids had already been moved. All right, then someone took them out of the building. Someone that none of you ever saw. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Wait, I gotta go back to the no, church. No, no, no. Jason, you need help. They're gonna do forensic analysis, fingerprints, DNA reports, all that technology. I know you're not up on the law enforcement right now, but I think you need to trust them. For Michael. Agent Marshall. Do you sincerely believe you're gonna be able to bring those children back on it? She's gonna recover. And when she does, she's gonna tell us where the kids are. We're gonna bring them home soon. I wanna go back to the church. There's nothing you could do there. You said Faith was trying to get in one of the back rooms. Right? I, I, I thought the kids were in there. Well, maybe Faith thought that too. Jason thinks someone moved the kids without Faith's knowledge. I'll call forensics and let them know we're on our way. Jason, I think you're right. I know you were. Someone else has the kids. You weren't even there. Were you, were you wrong about the door? I don't know why Faith was trying to get into it, that door. Maybe she wanted to take a nap. Or maybe she was making a call and she didn't want her people to hear. But it's worth looking into. We got... It's not proof, but we got to look into it. You ready to go? I'll call you if I find anything. Don't touch anything, okay? Take a look goes outside. Well, maybe someone took the kids out of the room without Faith realizing it. Maybe one of her guys or something. Or Faith could have been trying to head out this door out back. Sonny's right. There's any number of reasons why Faith could have been entering this room. We don't even know if the kids were ever here. And even if they were, it's very likely Faith could have been the one who moved them. Forensics found tire tracks outside. They're taking an impression now. Hopefully they can identify a brand. But they also found a little girl's footprint near the tracks. And according to the weight and size, it could be Christina's. 
So the obvious scenario is that whoever took the children led Christina and carried Morgan. And Michael. I'm sure he put up a fight, so they had to carry him, too. That's certainly possible. But forensics also found traces of blood in this room. The blood type matches Michael's. Are, are they sure that the blood's Michael's? Yes. But the sample is relatively small, so it could have come from a cut or a scrape. But there's also a chance that the shot Sonny heard over the phone was real. And Faith fired at Michael. What do you got? Just got an update on the tire tracks. They're fairly new Perry 352 radials, which is a brand most commonly used in fleet or rental cars. So I've got my people working on it now, identifying and looking for cars with Perry tires that have recently been rented or sold. What about the shovel? Faith's fingerprints are on the shovel. That's why she was covered in mud. Faith, Faith must have been digging in the swamp. Well, I told the sheriff to bring out the search dogs. I know it's hard to sit and wait, but I am sure that we're going to hear good news soon. They're going to they're gonna find that car, and they're going to find the kids. All three of them, Jason. Look, I know you're worried about the shovel, but just because Faith was digging, it doesn't mean that the kids aren't going to be all right. You're right. You're right, it could be anything. Look. Sounds silly, but I really believe in positive thinking. There have been times when I have been in an impossible situation, and I would tell myself over and over again that everything would be all right, and I'd get out of it, and and I did. So maybe if you just kept telling yourself that Michael was going to be okay and stop focusing on the worst, just think about Michael, Jason. Think about what an amazing, strong kid he is. Just tell yourself he's going to be okay. Is this all you found? Yes, ma'am. It's not a grave. It's a hole in the ground. Whoever dug that hole intended to bury someone or something. We don't know what the hole Face, is for. Fingerprints were on the shovel. So what? We know she plays games. My son's not here. He's alive. Tell him. Tell him that this Sonny isn't the grave. He was out here for a reason. So what does that mean? We can't be guessing about what's going on here. Faith's a psychopath, right? We don't know what she's going to do next. My son is still alive. You think Faith was digging this grave for Michael, and when she heard the cops, she stopped, and she threw his body in the swamp? That's not what Jason... That's said, what he Sonny. believes! But the cops and the feds are still looking, Sonny. For how long, Jason? Until they decide that he, he can't be found because his body's at the bottom of a swamp? No, Sonny, we're not giving up. Michael's alive! But if you don't believe it, and you don't believe it, and the sheriffs don't believe it, they're not going to search for my son as hard as they should. Sonny! Every second counts now. This is urgent. We're we got to get that. Yeah, well, okay. then somebody's got to do something about it. You know Michael better than anybody. He's a fighter. He doesn't give up. He's not gone. He's not dead. Say it, Jason. He's alive. You're wrong. Michael's out there somewhere fighting for his life. And he's going to keep on fighting until we bring him home. Carly, nothing. It was just a hole in the ground. Oh, thank God. You see, Sonny, it's, it's exactly what I told you. It's Faith was going to bury the money. The, she didn't have a chance. The, the tire tracks were traced to a rental car vehicle that was turned into the airport. Wait, any idea who turned it in? That plane cannot take off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two small children are scheduled to fly under the supervision of an airline escort to an adoptive family in Arizona. Any description of the kids? Not yet. Let's go. Oh, come on. Jason. 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 Jason.
Jason, Jason, do you want to go? No one. This could be good news, Reese. right? It's a two children. heart defect. He was just so small and pale and sick. I could I could see him struggling for every breath. He was so determined to stay alive. Did they operate on his heart? Yeah, he wasn't even 12 hours old. And then it was another two weeks before Christina are safe, but there's still no sign of Michael, which is why I'm here, and this is why I need your help. You were obviously Faith's business partner, and you were her lover. Mrs. Roscoe is being charged with several crimes, including kidnapping and murder. There's a lot of people that want her dead. It's your job to make sure that she gets to her room alive. Faith lands, your man can take her downstairs, they set her up in a room, then they just have to leave the room. With a full complement of guards outside. The, the guards can come back in five minutes after I talk to Faith alone. I'm not letting you anywhere near Faith. I want to help Sam. Uh, hang on, Justice. What makes you think we can help? Justice, you loved her. But maybe if you appealed to her, she would tell you where Michael was. Faith risked everything. I mean everything to come and visit me in the hospital. Okay, after I pull the alarm on her, she'll never trust me again. Sorry, Sam. Well, just so you know, Sonny and Jason know that you helped her before. You told her? Sonny knows what we did? It's the fact that she messed up her record of saving kidnapped victims by not being able to save Michael. Get out of my way. No. Rick, Sonny. Get no. out. Sonny, look, the whole world is looking at Faith right now. You go in there and you kill her. You're going to bring the authorities down on you. I don't give a damn. Jason, I don't you know give a right. damn. I don't listen, give a damn. Listen, I, don't... I know what you want to do. I know. I... Jason, you want to protect your boss. You make sure Faith stays alive. Dr. John Lewis, report to radiology. I have to make this right. Not until we find out what Faith knows. What if Faith tells her that she killed Michael? Then I will kill her. Myself, but for now, Faith is the one person that can bring Michael back to us. Do you believe Michael's alive? faith when she regained consciousness. She said she killed 
Michael and she threw his body in a swamp. I don't want to believe it, but what, why would she be lying? You're going to a maximum security prison for life. Man, I don't like kidnappers in there. Even felons have children on the outside. No visitors. Okay, officer. I asked Mr. Morgan to join us. You really think I'm going to fall for this? Take a break, both of you. We need some time alone with Mrs. You Ross. can't leave me here with him. They'll do what I say. I'm running out of patience. I want to find Michael Corinthos. You won't get any help from me. Get the information we need by any means necessary. <sighs> Scream, I'll call for help. Oh, good point. You scream all you want. This whole corridor is empty because you pose a threat to any and all innocents. I don't mind if you enjoy it. Jason, the Shut up! Dead. 